I thought I told you elves to take those wheels off my sleigh. I am not delivering presents in a monster truck. What's wrong with you? <sighs> sorry, sorry. You know, it's a little tense. Everything seems to be going wrong this year. Uh, excuse me, Chief. Oh, Elfish, um, what's going on? Well, we are at T minus uh, 60 minutes and counting, Chief. All systems are go, except for Rudolph. What? Are, are we negotiating with the reindeer or what? It's no good, Chief. Rudolph refuses to come back to the bargaining table unless you comply with his demands. He wants you to provide refreshments at the bargaining talks. Oh, is that all? <laughs> well, have Mrs. Claus whip up a fresh batch of hot cocoa and cookies. Uh, he wants caviar and Dom Perignon. Elfish, I'm going to put a completely different finger aside my nose. The reindeer refuses to resume without required refreshments. <laughs> but this is Christmas! <sighs> all right, what? Just get it together, Santa. All right, let's say that we bring him back to the table. What are the issues? He wants more, lots more, increased compensation. <laughs> oh, I'll give him compensation, all right. Workman's compensation. <sighs> I've seen this coming. It's been building up for years. Ever since that song, he thinks he's the main attraction. Ah, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, written by Johnny Marks, first released September 1949 on the Columbia Record label by Gene Autry. Clem Showater, producer, three minutes, 37 seconds, highest chart position number one, five weeks. So what? He's got one lousy song. I got many songs about me. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Right Santa up. Claus is coming to town. Up on the house top. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. <clears throat> I had a lot of trouble explaining that one to the missus. <laughs> right, right. No, see, I, I see what you mean about Rudolph, Chief. He leaves droppings all over our workshop. He calls me smell fish. Uh, you don't smell like fish at all. I know, I don't get it either. Mm. Smell fish. And he kicked a ball at my face during the company picnic. <laughs> I would like to kick him right in, right in the red nose pilot. Uh, Ninja Claws, hi -ya. Oh, oh, Get a hold of yourself, Chief. Oh, uh, sorry. <sighs> ho, ho, ho. There, see, I'm okay. Oh, no, no, no. You need positive energy, uh, Chief. Positive energy. Uh, Breathe deeply. Uh, That's it. Now, recite your mantra. Uh, Ho, 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 who wouldn't know? Ho, 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 who wouldn't know? Stop it, Elfish. Look what you got me making me do. Of all things, I'm stuck with a new age elf. You know, this is all Rudolph's fault. I gotta find a way how to get rid of him. Santa darling, oh. I must speak with you at once. I've got great news. Oh, yeah? I could use some good news right about now. <laughs> darling, you will be so thrilled to know that I have finally decided upon the Christmas present that I want you to get me this year. <laughs> look, look, okay. I, I got a lot of things I need to wrap up first, okay? You! You go tell Rudolph right now that we meet or he can take a flying leap without a sleigh. Right, Chief. <sighs> Darling. Oh, the, these, these negotiations are driving me bold. Would, would, would you stop smoking those things? Oh, darling, it's a lot better than that nasty old pipe that you smoke. What do you load in that thing anyway? No wonder he's such a jolly old elf. But what difference does that make? You know that I, I caught a couple of the elves that was smoking behind the toy shop igloo the other day? Your smoking is 
Well, it's a bad influence on them. Oh, that's ridiculous bad influence, darling. As I was just discussing, if they're old enough, why some of those elves are 600 years old. The average age of our elves is 457 years and two months. <laughs> uh, what are you still doing here? Who asked you? And besides, what is smoking going to do to those elves? Stunt their growth? Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Claus, but this is a non-smoking room. Darling, just why are you being so short with me? Actually, at 5 feet 11 inches, Santa is quite tall for a jolly old elf. Uh, shouldn't you be giving Rudolph the ultimatum? Yes, Chief. Uh, oh, these negotiations are driving me bonkers. You know, really? That you do seem to be losing weight. Why, why your Santa suit barely even fits you anymore. I, oh, darling. Oh, I'm too upset to eat. Look at me. I'm wasting away to nothing. I'm probably down about 400 pounds by now. <laughs> your weight loss will throw the automated trajectory of your sleigh off. You must gain 37 pounds before your departure tonight. Elvish, didn't I tell you to leave? Yes, you did. Yes, Chief. Uh, now, if you'll excuse oh, me. Oh, no, darling. Darling, remember about my present. I finally decided what I want. Look, um, I'm... Kind of busy now. Oh, but darling, not too busy for me. Well, see, wife, um, this is Christmas Eve, and I didn't know if you noticed or not, but I'm kind of busy. Oh, darling, this will only take a moment or two. You see, I spotted the new model Lamborghini sleigh over in the North Pole showroom, and I simply must have it. What? Another one? I just bought you one last year. Oh, but darling, I simply cannot be seen driving last year's model. And besides, this one is champagne-colored with an eggnog interior. No! The one that I got you last year is just fine. You don't even take that one out of the garage. Now, darling, I simply will not take no for an answer. Besides, I've been putting up with your poker buddies for weeks now. Oh, I know. You know what? I tried to be a nice big elf and, and have my pals, the Tooth Fairy and Easter Bunny, up here for Thanksgiving. Little did I know they would stay an entire month. Yes, darling. When is their expected departure? They're boring me terribly. I'm going to get rid of them right now. You know, we got too much going on up here anyways. Right. <laughs> now, where was I? I think I have an elf who needs to tell me where I was. Anyone with one of those cards in front of them? Yes, you're exactly right. Thank hey. you. Oh. Uh. Uh huh. That reindeer been through here yet? Ah, uh, the tooth fairy. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Fairy. Uh, what reindeer are you asking about? You know, the one with the red honker. He's been chatting with me all day with those damn chattering teeth. Ah, uh, Mr. Fairy, has Santa found you? No. Hey. Is my Christmas present ready yet? Uh, no, Mr. Mr. Fairy, he wants to discuss your travel arrangements. Huh. Well, I ain't leaving till I get my supply of candy. I'm, not, I'm gonna pass it out to all the kiddos. Uh-huh, yes, well, that's very generous of you. Hey, promotes tooth decay. Uh, Good for business. Yes, well, Mr. Fairy, it's time for you and the rabbit to go home. What? Is this about the hay in the tub? Because that ain't me. That's E.B. You got to talk to the bunny about that one. Now, if you see a little magic dust here and there. Oh, uh, uh. uh, and here's the other one. Hey there. What are you doing after the show? Yes, uh. I've been working a while. Yeah, you know, uh. You know uh, what big feet mean? Think about it. Uh, Mr. Bunny! 
Oh, uh, hiya there, Toots. So what's the action? Yes, well, I was just telling your friend, the fairy, that Santa's looking for you. Yeah, the old man wants to kick us out. Yes, it's time to pack your basket, Mr. Fairy and Mr. Bunny, because you better watch out, you better say bye, to leave it no doubt, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming around. He's a little bit stressed, if you take my advice, he's gonna find you and it won't be nice, Santa Claus is coming. Finished business to settle, okay? Plus, Santa ain't gonna kick us out on Christmas Eve. Oh, <laughs> we'll see about that. Come along, Elfish. <laughs> huh. Huh. Can you believe the nerve of that broad? Yeah. Well, I mean, let's just be frank here. We're out of here, one way or another. It's too bad, too, because, you know, I was thinking about getting into another line of business. Oh, yeah? What's that? Walrus teeth. It's an untapped market. Oh, yeah, you better be careful. Remember what happened with those elephant tusks. I know, I know, but hey, Donald Trump made it legal now, so, uh, <laughs> besides the point, look, if this works, I might be able to get into whale's teeth. Ah, yeah, can you imagine the size of those teeth? Ah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, why you been hanging around here for so long? Well, you want to know the truth? <laughs> It's elves. <laughs> I had no idea that there were so many hot-looking elves up here at the North Pole. I mean, look at them here, you know? They're up here uh, all alone, too cold to go outside, hundreds of years, long nights. Huh? So you've been showing the elves your North Pole this whole time. <laughs> hey, I'm quick like a bunny, but so many elves. So little time. Uh, oh, there you two are. Look, you two are gonna have to leave right now. I gotta finish getting loaded. What, you mean you or your sleigh? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, crawl up your fat red butt. Yeah, yeah, is it, uh, is it the reindeer or are they still on strike? Yes, not only that, I have a prima donna to deal with. Huh. Dasher and Dancer are fighting hooves and they refuse to fly with one another. Comet, oh, air sick, and Cupid, pregnant. Huh, no, what me, what me? Oops. So I guess you don't have any room in your sleigh for some extra large teeth then. Right, so anyway, uh, what, what is it that Rudolph wants from me anyhow? Oh, well, Rudolph wants to have a million bales of hay. Huh. Oh, and he wants to go free agent. <laughs> he thinks he's so special. You know, I told him, you're going to get 7,500,000 just like everybody else. I don't care which body part of his clothes. I, he, if, if I give him a million, then that means I'm going to have to give Blitzen a million. And all Blitzen does is just hang on the end of the line. Oh, no. And then Rudolph is going to come back and say, I want a million five. Well, I'm not going for that. Huh. So what are you going to do? You know, I would rather fly United and be drug off that airplane before I give it to his demands. Well, you know what? I will start feeling sorry for you once you stop hopping all over the world in one night. <laughs> Santa darling, are you ready to go shopping for my Lamborghini? Ho, ho, no! What? Did, what? What did you... No, no. No! Oh. She fell right over. Oh, she's just in shock. That's the first time I ever said ho, ho, no to her. 
Doesn't anybody realize that because of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, this will go down in history as the first Christmas to be canceled due to a strike? <laughs> uh, if Rudolph was gone... Oh, I would be a much jollier Saint Nick. Well, maybe a song will cheer you up. Hark out the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bring me good cheer to one and all. Ding and the bolt, ding dong, ding dong, that is their song. With joyful ring, their caroling, one seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they power, raising the sound, or hell and dale, telling the tale, ding 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 ring, while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here, merry, merry. Let's let's try Rudolph just one last time. Yes, Chief. Huh, this better work. You know, I'm gonna go pack my pliers. So, uh, Mr. Bunny, don't you have some packing to do? You know, your basket or something? Oh, me? <laughs> no, 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 I, I got some elves to unwrap here. <laughs> you know, uh, Getting rid of this one is going to call for some deception. So, uh, you know what bunnies do best? Think about it, huh? But how do I get to him? If I could just get him into the back of the sled, Santa could dump him out over Greenland. But how do I get to him? You're looking for a little tail tonight? <laughs> Oh. You know what big ears mean, don't you? Yeah. Of course I know how to get to him. Big Q-tips. Huh. Uh, uh, Mr. Bunny! Oh, 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 say there, Mrs. Claus. You're looking pretty good tonight. Oh, you think so, Mr. Bunny? Oh. You know, it's been so long since I've had a compliment. Oh. Now, why would that be? I mean, you're pretty hot for a North Pole dame. Well, you know, Santa's been so nervous lately. So on edge. Why, he hasn't had the time to treat a woman like a woman needs to be treated. Oh, I know just what you mean. Do you, Mr. Bunny? <laughs> That's really good. You see, it's been so long since I've had a good massage. I can do that. I can do that. Oh, Mr. Bunny. Oh, uh, call me Easter. Oh, Mr. Easter. That sounds so good. But um, I have to take care of one little thing, you know, before I can relax. What? Anything, anything, anything. Could you meet me in a couple minutes out by the stables? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Two minutes, Mr. Easter. The stables. Oh. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Where am I supposed to meet her? By the stables! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can hear the ringing now. I'm going to be riding high tonight, right? I'm back in the saddle again. <laughs> oh, I should have known that wouldn't have worked. What's the news? Oh, Chief, Rudolph refuses to do anything unless we hold all future negotiations at a beachside resort on the French Riviera. Oh, that's it. He's out. We're going on without him. No, but the other ranger won't fly unless you settle things with Rudolph first. What? 
A walkout? Or, or is it a flyout? I'm not sure what the unions use with terminology. Well, Chief, I, I've been going over his agreement here, and I, I think that he may be in breach of contract. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that I could fire him? <laughs> well, that's your call, Chief, but I need to know whether or not he's flying. <laughs> As you know, the navigation system is completely automated, and Rudolph's presence plays a vital part of those calculations. I have precisely 17 minutes before it becomes too late to recalibrate the guidance system. What do, uh, what do I do? How do I fire him? Hmm... Maybe you could, uh, break it to him with a song. clapping about. Uh, uh, now that I have, you know, a, a couple seconds to, uh, you know, catch up on all the work that I'm, uh, you know, late on. Oh, hey, what do you want for Christmas? in on the labor negotiations. Oh yeah, that's a likely story. Since when are you interested in labor negotiations? Hey, I'm interested in those things, okay? You know, because if it ain't labor problems, it's press problems. Oh, that's true. And if it ain't the press, it's Sarah Huckabee Sanders oh. and the entire government. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know what you're saying about the government. You know, they have been on my uh, on my little cute bunny tail for years over uh, cholesterol and Easter eggs, and now it's caffeine and chocolate. <laughs> yeah, these government regulations got me up a wall. I remember I used to just be able to reach in and just yank out the teeth, but now I gotta wear gloves and a mask. It's like I'm the dishwasher fairy. Yeah, yeah, well that's true, but all in all, though, you gotta admit. It isn't a bad gig. I mean, if I didn't have this job, I'd probably be a lab experiment somewhere. Yeah. Still, you gotta feel kind of bad for the claws, though. He's under a lot of pressure there. Well, yeah, he is, but uh, I don't know. The way the reindeer tells the story to me, you're on his side in the labor negotiations. Why the hell would I be on his side? Oh, I don't know. There's something about some information he has on you. Something about excavation, like? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, come on. Rudolph has something on you, and I know what it is. Okay, all right, all right, all right. He's blackmailing me, okay? Ah, yeah, this is I thought. So, what were you doing in those graves? Hey. Gra graveyards. There's some good teeth in those graves. <sighs> That's sick. Yeah, isn't that sick, really? You know, uh, you're, 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 as, you're as bad as the reindeer. Maybe so, but at least I ain't as obnoxious about it. No, well, that's true. He is really nasty. You guys think he's cute. He's not. He's a, he's a mean guy. He's done nothing but give me a hard time ever since I got up here to the North Pole. You know, it's no wonder the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. Yeah. So, E.B., what were you doing back there by the stables? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I, I, I was uh, doing what I always do, uh, looking for loose elves. Oh, come off it. You were waiting for Mrs. Claus. I saw her back there before you even got there. You mean I missed her? E.B., you gotta watch hitting on Mrs. Claus like that. Well, get on, come on. Now, she, she's lonely, you know? Santa's busy this time of year. My God, man, you can't wait five minutes before you do the bunny hop, can you? I can't help it. It's in my jeans. Well, you better keep your jeans zipped up. Oh, what do you mean Santa's going to cancel Christmas? As long as Rudolph is back there organizing all the other reindeer, no one's flying anywhere. Oh, no. Oh. That's it. We're sunk. Oh, no. Oh, elfish, or, uh, elfish. <laughs> Rudolph refuses to talk. All he wants to do is sit on his little white tail tush while he stuffs his face full of bonbons and watch Kardashians on ice. Oh, well then I'll never get my new sleigh. Well, I think that if um, Rudolph was out of the picture, I could get the rest of the reindeer to fly. Mm. Hey, somebody ought to put that damn reindeer out of our misery. Permanently. What, what are you talking about? You, you're talking about killing the reindeer? That seems a little extreme. Well, if anybody deserves it, Rudolph does. Yes, but this is Christmas. Well, we could sing. No. 
the whole time. It wasn't me. I would have killed Blitzen first, that crop-dusting lard-ass. 
Maybe someone was trying to frame you. Yeah, could be. Somebody trying to frame you like uh, a certain fairy who wanted the reindeer dead because he was being blackmailed. Hey, I wouldn't murder Rudolph. I have Polaroids of him in a three-way with Donner and Blitzen. Oh, really? <laughs> Can I see him? Uh, well, uh, maybe, maybe it was a certain elf who was angry about getting a ball in the face at the company picnic. The only way a face like that's ever gonna score. Oh, pixie man! Hey, I'm not a pixie, I'm a fairy! I think it was a rabbit who was trying to get in with the hots with Mrs. Claus. Oh. Hey, 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 I, uh, that couldn't be me. I, my motto is make love, not war. Keep that in hmm. mind. Well, maybe it was Mrs. Claus herself to ensure that she got her I would never stoop so low. Oh, really? How low are you willing to stoop? You know, here, look what I found. And it could be a clue. It could be another clue. Oh, it's another part of the signature. It says M E. It says me? Now, what kind of a smart ass? Hey! Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? Well, well, I would say that regardless of the signature, our prime suspect has to be... Santa Claus! Uh. Oh, yes! Because he was very frustrated with all the negotiations. Let's ask him ourselves. <laughs> I was listening the whole time. <laughs> it wasn't me. Why would I blow my own stables? Hurry up! I don't know about you, but I believe him. Now, how else can we figure out this mystery? Maybe we'll ask the audience if they have any questions to be answered. Um, does anyone have any answers for um, Watson? Oh, I, mean, I mean, Elfish, does anyone have any questions? This is where you raise your hand. Make her improvise. Don't blow any bubbles over there. <laughs> None? Is it time for a song? No! <laughs> Although everyone knows that the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud. We're all too here. Well, go ahead. No, not to me. <laughs> Does anyone have any uh, questions for the missus? They know I'm innocent. Look at my face. I see a lot of question marks on their faces. <laughs> How about any questions for me? This lady here has a question for somebody. Yeah. What? Go ahead. Yes, darling. Pretty bad. Mm. He may be on to something. No more? I yes. Think I think it's a chair. Cigarette butts? I, don't, I know of no butts in the area. <laughs> but really, for you. question. Yes, he's really thinking with his brain. <laughs> yes. Any other questions for me? How about for the bunny? I usually think with my wrong brain. Huh? Anybody? I want my phone number, I know. Huh. How much luggage do I have? Luggage? Huh. Uh, yeah, you know? Oh, I, I better unpack. Oh, yeah, I, well, that's true. I am packing a little heat here. <laughs> it's a very uh, large uh, basket. Oh, yeah, very hard. Nice. You know, you know how bunnies are, you know. <laughs> Any other questions or phone numbers for the Bunny? I got a really nice package for Christmas, I'll tell you. How about any questions for Tooth Fairy? Oh. What, say that again? I mean, I explode sometimes, but other than that, that's about it. <laughs> You must be a real He black. does have I, uh, some background, yes. Yes, I think I was on the bump back. You yes. probably didn't read those very I didn't read those. Explosive yeah. background. Hmm? Last chance for any questions before we move on. Good. I, I think they may have some insights for us, though. 
You do? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Naughty list. <laughs> All right, well, um, just keep this in mind. There's an extra special Christmas gift for anyone who can get this crime right. Just remember that. Now All right, next, um, if you'll look on the top, we would like you to say um, who you think did it, sir? Who killed Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? And there's also the little item of motive. That's whenever you tell us why you think the killer did the killer. Now, hey, listen to me. It's important to be specific because you know, probably more than one of you jabronis is going to come up with the right answer, so be sure to be specific so that we know who to give the damn prize to. Yeah. Now when you're on the front of the sheet, you can flip it over and on the back is a little survey that can, uh, that'll tell you, uh, you tell us how we can continue to bring you this fine educational programming right here at River City. Uh, also, there's an opportunity for you to leave your email address if you would like to receive periodic spam from, uh, I mean, uh, informational updates from Mystery Theater Unlimited. Uh, also, for uh, some of you cuter elves, you can leave EB your phone number. God, you never stop, do you? Oh, no. When you are finished, simply hold up your card and we will come around and pick it up. Just like that. And I see some. I know we have some finished some cards. Yes. Yes, here we are. And um, until you finish Wait, it, I will be it. searching around for additional clues. Come along, Watson. All right. Anyone here? Good. Good, good, good. That is a mystery. Yes, it is a one. I... There's a typo in this. Oh, no. There's another mystery. Suspects, what's in? Please keep popping out there. Oh, forget it. Oh, I think that I have found out who the murderer is. Oh, well, does that mean that this is my god? Ooh, not so fast, my dear. Does that mean Christmas is. No, no, what? I think that you. Could have done it because you were so anxious to get a Christmas gift. Well, darling, it's but true. it also could have been Easter Bunny. That's right. He was so eager to find time with you alone. Ugh. Oh, gee, he really does know everything, doesn't he? Oh, it also could have been Tooth Fairy because he was trying to stop Rudolph because he was blackmailing him. You know what? I thought it was you. Well, I know who the real killer is. It is... Elfish. <gasps> That's Watson! Well, how did you deduce that, darling? Elementary, my dear Mrs. Holmes, I deciphered the signature. Oh, what are you saying? You mean Watson signed the card? Oh, that would have been too obvious. Do you remember the clues? The card with the S and the me? Yes, this is where you shake your head. <laughs> From that, you got the elf. Uh, not exactly, uh, until I put them together. S and M E. But darling, how did that lead you to the elf? S M E? Yes. Doesn't anybody remember what Rudolph called elfish? Smell fish. Ah.
strike was settled, I could have time to recap for the ice system so you could fly in and Take it to jail. I am going to give you coal in your stocking. You've been a very naughty elf. Yes, but under the circumstances, I think we'll forgive you, Elfish. Really? Gee, sure. Oh, so it is a happy ending after all. Oh, no, 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 no. Far from a happy ending. I got a list of troubles. I'm running out of time and a watch. It's also getting foggy outside, and it's about ready to rain, dear. Oh. Very funny. Very funny. Well, uh, good luck with that, Santa. We're out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. You two are going to come with me. We are. Mm -hmm. You two are going to pay for your keeps, buddy. We are. You are going to help distribute all of the Christmas presents this year. Oh, really? You want me to help with the gifts? <laughs> All right, but keep in mind, I like to hide them. Plus, I think that I need that foot for good luck. <laughs> it only works if you cut it off. But, cut it off! Cut it off! I... Oh, oh, you were talking about my foot. Well, I guess I can live with that. <laughs> See what I gotta put up with. <laughs> oh, and um, you, um, those wings are functional, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I can fly. I'm a fairy, ain't I? Oh, good. Um, well, I have a very special request for you. Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Uh, put it on. This is gross. Yeah, it is. You look beautiful, though. After that, it's now a happy ending. Oh, Johnny, <laughs> now I can get my sleigh! Oh, yeah, about that. Um, oh, oh, yes, I did buy a Lamborghini for you. Oh, but unfortunately, I hid them in the stables. <laughs> so, I guess we need a little music here to finish it off. Yeah, get the bubbles for the... Uh, we uh, play here uh, every month, 
and uh, we uh, we're do, do shows very frequently. In uh, the month of January, we will be coming back with a completely different show. It's Murder on the Love Boat. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah, so you want to come cruise with us. Uh, that's towards the end of the month in January, so you got some time. January and February. Uh, I want to thank and acknowledge all of our blowers out there. The blow of the world. And especially all the head blowers. Yes. And all of our bell ringers. Let's hear it one more time. Ding, 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 ding. And we had a couple of people that you each talked to. Um, let's see. Uh, we have elf, elf number two. Elf, oh, elf number two. We're talking yeah. about over there. Yay. Elf number one. Elf right number here. One, right over there. Okay. Just, yeah, right here. Yay. And we, of course, we had Casey, elf number three. Uh, Casey, um, uh, So, uh, if, if you'd like to find out more about this, we do have a website. We also have uh, a, uh, uh, it's mysterytheaterunlimited.com. It's on your program. It's a long URL. Or uh, we're on Facebook. You can look us up there. You can always keep in touch. Also, it's pointed out to me that on the program, uh, we missed a digit on the telephone number. So, if you like private parties, we can all, we can come to your house and do a show. It, it's kind of cool. Actually. You'll never get rid of it. It'll fulfill your wildest fantasies. <laughs> so that phone number, actually, if you're interested, the, the, what's, the missing digit is a zero. And I thought, you know, zero. No, it, it, yeah. Anyway, Thought it's 2880. So if you do want uh, that, then you, or you can always check with River City and uh, have your party up here, too. Uh, so that's it, except for the last thing that we always like to do, which is uh, drinking. Uh, no, no, it's actually... To the bar? Prizes! Prizes! Oh, yeah, the prizes. Yeah, so take it away, man. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this off because it keeps no. Martha, you can use this 
any way you like, but we would prefer that you come back to another murder mystery show and bring a table of eight that are going to pay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Or twelve. Yeah. I mean, you know. Or twelve or twenty, whatever. Yeah. Well, you know, not everybody can get it right. So for those of you who just gave it a good try but couldn't get it right or made us laugh or whatever, we give you what you need most, and that is a clue. Okay. Yes. So our first clueless winner said, Rudolph committed suicide. Mrs. Claus's cigarette ignited Rudolph's gas. <laughs> Jay Holmes. Woo! All right, Jay. Nice job. Uh, the second clueless person said that Cupid did it because of pregnancy hormones. <laughs> and that is Casey Little Heart. <laughs> um, the next clueless person said the Tooth Fairy did it. He was being blackmailed and Rudolph was jealous of the outfit. Um, he was also a demolition expert and liked blowing things up. And this is Barb A. All right, Barb. All right. The next clueless winner said, again, Mrs. Claus, I can't believe it. Rudolph discovered her with the Easter Bunny in Santa's sleigh in unforgiving positions. <laughs> Bob D. Bob, where are you, Bob? <laughs> All right, Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. <laughs> uh, the next clueless person said that Mrs. Claus and the Easter Bunny. Mrs. Claus and the Easter Bunny snuck off to the stables to do what <laughs> bunnies do best. Rudolph interrupted Hanky Panky um, and threatened to blackmail them to Santa. They had to kill him to keep him quiet. He was kind of a, it was kind of murder on the North Pole Express. Uh -huh. All right, uh -huh. this is Holly and Kim McCluskey. They, they're, you know, they're, their storyline is as good as ours. So. <laughs> a little better. They can write our next show. And our final clueless winner, our most clueless of all, who not only gets the clue, you know, card, but also is going to get one of our DVDs, uh, the Capitol Hillbillies, um, says that I killed Rudolph. I'm a sociopath. Rule number one, have no motive. Rule number two, leave no evidence. Rule number three, don't use the weapon twice. Rule number four, there are no rules. Phyllis Watson. Kind of frightening, Phyllis, but all right. <laughs> all right, good job. All right, hey, like once again, on, thank you guys yeah. so much. You really, you made our Christmas season. We really appreciate it. If you, uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, then keep this in mind. Our greatest form, probably our only form of advertising, is by word of mouth. So if you like what you saw, please tell all your friends. If you didn't, Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.